Hi, I'm Chris Wolf, and this is my Open House video cast. I'm excited to meet all of you at Open House this year, but because I get very little time to talk to you, I thought I'd make this video to give you a little more information about me and the classes I teach at Vernon Hills High School. The first thing I'd like to show you is a little bit of background about myself. First of all, if you need to contact me, you can be it's best to email me at chris.wolf at d128.org. You can also leave me a voicemail by calling this phone number, but I try to return voicemails within 24 hours, but emails will be returned much faster. You can also keep up with us and what's going on in class by following me on Twitter. Here I like to post pictures of our students doing lab investigations and other exciting class activities. This year I'll be teaching both AP Biology and Biology Honors, and later in this video I will give you a chance to learn a bit more about those specific classes your biologist is in. Next, let me talk a little bit more about myself. This will be my 19th year teaching, and I have been at Vernon Hills High School for 17 of those years. I've taught a variety of subjects, but biology is really my passion. My bachelor's degree is from the University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign in the teaching of biology with a minor in secondary education. I also have a master's degree in curriculum and instruction from the Concordia University of Chicago. Finally, I would like to introduce you to my family. My wife, Lisa, and I live in Libertyville with my two wonderful daughters, Kylie and Tessa. Lisa is a first grade teacher at Butterfield Elementary School, and Kylie and Tessa both attend Adler Park School. Kylie is in fourth grade and Tessa is in second. You can find us out and about in downtown Libertyville when we are not at soccer practices or dance recitals. Now, I'd like to talk to you a little bit more about the classes I teach. Hello, Biology Honors parents. Thank you for watching this video about Biology Honors. I wanted to let you all know how excited I am to have the opportunity to teach Biology Honors at Vernon Hills High School. Before we can talk about the class, let me show you how to get to the Biology Honors website. First, you need to go to my website, www.mrwolfscience.com and click on the menu here and find the Biology Honors page. On this page, you'll see a lot of resources for our class. The main thing I'd like to show you today is the course expectations and course syllabus. You can find it by clicking here. This syllabus has a lot of information on it, and I'd like to give you just a few highlights. First, what will our biologists be doing in class? Our Biology Honors program is meant to have students be inquisitive and ask questions, to investigate and to actually do science, to analyze and think critically, to explain and communicate effectively, to build relationships and work collaboratively, and to develop resilience through struggle. I believe these are core values we have in all of our science courses and we really hit them all in biology honors. Next, I wanna explain some of our class routines. Mastery Monday, though it's not always on a Monday, is a formative assessment day. These are where spot checks are taken that assess the previous week's material. These are assessments that are meant to gauge a student's understanding of what has been taught so far in the unit. These spot checks do go into power school and act as a temporary grade. Basically, they are a snapshot of what your student understands that can hopefully be improved by the time they need to take the unit assessment. Flashback Fridays are either an independent time for students to revisit material covered during the week, or sometimes they are used as lab assessment days where we assess science skills that were learned in labs that we did throughout the week. The middle of the week is filled with a lot of active learning where students will apply what they have learned and practice what they've been doing in class. These activities are meant to help students engage the course material and help them learn what is going on in biology. Next, let's talk about assessments. First, the formative assessments are those spot checks that will go into power school, but eventually be replaced by the unit assessment grades. The lab assessments are meant to gauge students' progress on the science practices that are learned through our lab investigations. These assessments may include performance tasks, graphing analysis of data, or scientific writing in the form of CER. Finally, we have the unit assessments, and these are multiple choice assessments that come at the end of the unit that will be covering all the learning objectives. When you look at power school for these unit assessments, you may find that these assessments have been broken down into two to five smaller unit assessment grades when they go in the grade book. This allows us to give retake opportunities on just learning objectives that students struggle in without having to have them retake the entire test. We believe there's no point in reassessing on material they've already mastered. So that's why we break down these unit assessments into individual learning targets. Finally, I want to point out our philosophy on what goes into a student's grade. Our students' grading scale will be based solely on their mastery of each learning objective. Our equidistant grading scale encourages growth while, make, while making grades more accurately represent students' mastery of the standards of the course. There will be no grade lower than 50%. Behavior and work completed during the learning process are not included in the student's grade. This ensures a more equitable grading scale to encourage making mistakes and to learn from those mistakes more effectively. With multiple opportunities for practice, constant progress monitoring, and many opportunities for assessment, 
The expectation and hope is that all students will master all the course standards. At the very end of this document, you can take a look at our course content and the skills that will be covered in our course. I am really excited for a fun year in biology honors, and I look forward to seeing your child succeed in this challenging yet rewarding course. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me, and I look forward to meeting you all soon. Thanks for watching.